Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. How y'all doing? Drop a thumbs up and let's get into it. I'm high. When it comes to strange phenomena, a couple of years ago in New York and many other cities, people were seeing these strange blue lights in the sky. Yep. We had a similar Yo, video before. Oh, who is that? Bro, I'm waiting for that again. <laughs> what Bro. the? Do you guys see this? Closer. And the, and the, the, this situation was to do with the electricity. Whatever this is. Okay. That's the official it's getting brighter and bluer and creepier. It was all over and it wasn't just in New York City. What's mm. strange about this is that it happened in 2018, 2019, 2020, kind of constantly. And in general, the explanation for this mysterious phenomena is that storms or strong wind were causing problems in the electric power lines making them to burst in this blue mysterious light. One if you believe that, two if you think it's like the aliens, man, yeah. it's the aliens. However, sometimes there was no explanation for it. And it's sort of the case with what happened last week in a city in Costa Rica. Oh, damn. When many people captured a similar event. Oh, this shit. This is what happened. Wow. Oh, damn. Do you have a side? So this is where it's leading. Uh, so it happened first in New York, right? What's happening? I don't know. I'm scared. Yeah, that is truly looking like a scene from a game. Wow, what is this? I don't know. What is going on? In the middle of the night. Yo, it, in the middle of the night? Damn, it feels like that. It's like the the almost like afternoon evening time and the clouds are just rolling in, you know? That's like nice. I've never seen anything like like this. That is wild. Well, oh, yeah, now it's dark, completely dark. Holy. The event wasn't just captured in one place. It was captured all over this city in Costa Rica and people were seeing the same thing. It's probably like the aliens trying to experiment. It's probably like aliens probably got bored. They were like, okay, let's uh, let's toy around with the clouds and uh, you know see how much uh, we can rain that sucker down. Bruh. Right? Or maybe it was just the. Like, okay, it's like 8 p.m. He says. Whatever this thing is, it's carried the heck out of everyone in this particular city in Costa Rica. Mm. Thing that I noticed in most of these videos is that it's raining and it seems to be raining really hard. So it could be a power outage, an electrical failure, or something that was causing the power lines to, to make this blue, beautiful, but mysterious phenomenon. Beautiful? But I'm not too sure. It does look pretty cool What do though. you think? And why yeah. has this mysterious blue light? I mean, that's that's the best explanation, most logical, that it was maybe electric failure, electricity failure, or some, something like that. But the opposite argument! Here is uh, probably the, the aliens. It was the aliens, man. It was the aliens. In different places all over the world. But logically, it has to be electrical stuff. Our world is a beautiful place. We have the mountains, the ocean, and the sky. Oh, it's damn. simply beautiful. If you look up, for example, for a couple of minutes or so to a dark night and you observe the stars, there's a really good chance that you'll end up seeing a meteorite or something like that. <gasps> it happens basically every day. Stuff like this happens every day. It's oh just my that, God! It's just that this we've is never the moment seen. that I catch myself asking the question, are we really alone? Yeah. Is there anything yeah. out there or is it just us? The fact is, be. every year, 17,000 meteorites fall to Earth. That's a lot. It happens literally every day. Most of it is just that it drops on the ocean because the ocean is just way bigger, right? And uh, most of the time, it's just smaller rocks, uh, smaller stones from the space, smaller rocks that goes unnoticed. And whenever it happens to be like somewhat bigger, we catch us, or we catch that Shiza on camera, just like these uh, poor souls, just like it happened back in Russia where it went BAM! You know, so yeah, but it happens every day. Now the question here is that will we ever get a dinosaur sized asteroid drop on us? Hopefully not, because if that happens then oh, shit. that's oh, all shit. I gotta say. But sometimes 
What we're looking at at the sky isn't just a meteor, it might be something else. And because everyone has a camera nowadays, there are hundreds of videos of mysterious objects okay. and phenomena. Okay, that, that shows I was going very horizontal, like gravity, come on guys, like go a little bit, dip a little bit, 45 degrees angle at least. Gotta be the aliens, gotta be Not the aliens. In the sky that surface the internet every week. And there's a mighty good chance that most of these videos have an explanation. But sometimes they don't. Mm. Sometimes it's something completely baffling. And it's the case with this video that was uploaded to Facebook a couple of weeks ago by a family in Brazil when they saw something really strange and they caught it all on camera. All on this camera. is what happened. So yeah, a lot of dots in the sky, like the orbs. We had a similar video where a similar video where there were like hundreds of like dots, uh, hundreds of alleged UFOs in the sky. I will link to that video at the end, okay? You gotta must watch. This line post is in the middle. Yeah, try to find a clear. Even okay, that is truly insane, guys. Oh, it, it, oh my god, it keeps showing up. The the fact that the light source is hitting the the camera. The camera usually this has this is a cell phone, right? So it's not like we're not talking high quality camera. The fact that the camera is picking up the, the 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 massive light and also the smaller dots in the sky that is truly wild then that means that the smaller dots were trying like not that small or maybe they were well well lit up because once this light light source hits the camera there's many of them here yeah. the, the lamp oh my god look they're duplicating i saw it it's endless there's more look oh damn what's that Caraca, cara. Holy shiza. <laughs> I cannot say that word on YouTube, guys. This is why I do it in German. At first, I Dutch. thought that this might actually be a balloon festival. At night, they may be confused for something else. But I guess that this is not the case here. If you take a look at a certain moment in the video, the women start to observe that objects start to duplicate themselves. I'm not too sure, however, what it is. And because we don't know the location or the date of the video, it makes it even harder to track down and find out what happened here. What I do know is that in the same week, a very similar event was captured on camera in Tijuana by Albert Aliens. Check oh, this damn. out. Uh oh. So right around the, oh damn, holy. We got a lot of them. Okay, so the, the thing that's moving, that's definitely on his lens, maybe like water or some shies on his, but what's that? Probably house lights uh, could be, but this one is my main point, right? If this is like house lights or lights at a distance, then damn, didn't one just appear appear out of nowhere? I was looking looking down here. Did this light appear out of nowhere? Yeah, this did. Okay, I'm kind of very similar so three, to the event three. that was captured in Brazil by the two women. The lights keep showing up out of nowhere, and they in hear. my opinion, they're the same color. Not only that, I noticed that in the two videos, the sky seems cloudy. They, can they are here, oh, boys. Oh, they are here. They are here. Very difficult to be a comet or a meteor or a satellite or anything like that. Yeah, gravity. Could be you know? drones, but I'm not too sure. Nah, nah drones wouldn't take? be. Drones if you wouldn't have be that. Any big. idea? Please do leave a comment or email me. See, the, the, it's changing too, right? One of the things like, that I really like to do in my free time to get away from my urban life is explore new and different places. I am drawn to mountains and places that are old, I don't know why. I just have this feeling that I'm going back in time and I can see a little bit of how the world was a couple of decades ago. The thing is, when I'm sometimes inside these old buildings, I get this feeling that I'm being watched or that there's something about it. I'm not sure why, but I'm pretty sure that everyone has had this kind of feeling at least once in their lifetime. Mm. Now, when it comes to exploring abandoned and old well, places, uh, there what kind of brings me back is um, whenever I am in the existential crisis mode, I'm like always thinking about the fact that how much we progress as a species in a lot of good ways. We progress in a lot of good ways, uh, but also in a lot of bad ways, right? You look back just 10 years ago, the, the world was completely different, man. Completely different. Now the society is way more sensitive, right? We, I guess we all know that everybody gets uh, uh, mad or just little and small stuff. But but I'm not necessarily talking about that. Technologically, we have advanced. But, but, and the vibes are changing too. I don't know how to describe it, but it's like, I, I feel like that 
the, the vibes that we had 10, 20 years ago, they were much better. People had more care for other people, and now we're kind of just slowly but surely, we're lacking that. It, it, I don't know why, maybe it's because we are all desensitized because we see horrible stuff happen mostly every day on the news channel and on the news, on social media as well, that we're like, yeah, we saw that, just another day, right? We're losing care for other people, uh, is what I'm noticing. There's a YouTube channel by the name of Exploring with Danny, and he has been to many different places in the UK. As you all probably know, the UK is filled with old castles, churches, abandoned houses, and the list goes on. In one particular video, Danny is all alone and he decides to explore an abandoned church. Mm, abandoned church? Oh, Danny, I'm fine. Yo, Hi guys. get a car pump the brakes? It's pretty late at night. Ow, I am ow. coming to a he better find some creepy church. Oh, damn, son. It okay. sure does look creepy. Weapons away, because we're talking church. It's been Weapons abandoned away. for quite a long time. Oh, damn. Man, this is about to be freaky if he enters. Okay, pull it up. Away. So we got the chains. Okay, now right, guys, inside. I have just made me way into this. Okay, we go to a Creepy looking church. <laughs> Creepy? That's a. Uh, can I get me? Can I get the camera, mate? What you doing, mate? Bollocks, mate. Bollocks, mate. Yeah, we're gonna do hands only, guys. No no weapons in church. No weapons in church. Hands, arms only. I cannot only. believe I'm on my own doing this stuff. Once inside, yeah. Danny starts noticing the old furniture left behind and the pigeons that are living inside, they're making these strange noises. Oh, in the roof. But I don't think that the strange noises are all coming from the pigeons. It seems the, like there's something the else. And Danny doesn't take long to find out that he shouldn't have gone all alone. Ow, this ow, is what happens next. Ow, this ow. is massive. This is what happened? I think he about to catch something. He about to see something. Or may Lord have mercy. see a pair of eyes then. Bruh. Yo, he's gonna see. Bruh, 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 bruh. I'll watch out for these. Yo, he's gonna look up and. Oh, in the floor right here. Right here. Not wanna be. <laughs> Falling yeah, through. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is this? <laughs> oh, yo, 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 yo. What the hell? Yeah, bro, that. Oh. <sighs> That scared me. That felt like a human, man. Uh, human There's quite a lot of pigeons in here. <sighs> Guys, I am so nerv nervous right now. <laughs> yeah, I can tell, bro. Like, why are you here? He's breathing heavy. So not doing this on my own again. Don't say it, like... If there's a crackhead living, he can hear you and understand what you're saying. So he's gonna do that more. He's gonna look back and... There's all sorts of noises in there, but I'm putting it down to the pigeons. I think I saw some. Put up in the roof. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Just think people would have been christened here once. What the hell? Holy! Yeah, if this was not a religious place, I would have been pulling this up, man. Like... Bruh. It's not a pigeon. Maybe it's a Shivava, like a Pomeranian oh, crying. Yo, it's gonna come hello? right in, I think. No, you don't say hello, bro. You hello? run. You peace out, bro. Just peace out, man. I <laughs> know, oh, actually, go, just go, bro. For videos, man, go, go, go. Hey, 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 hello? Oh. <laughs> that's fake. That's fake. <laughs> that's fake. That's fake. Bro, oh, no. Okay, that genuinely freaked me out, but uh, it, did it move? Because at first it felt like a cardboard, like a picture still, but then it moved. Um, And yeah, that's the most replayed, I mean, everybody wanna know, right? Oh no, oh no. It feels like, it feels fake, you see? It feels fake. 
this is what I saw first, and you see the outlines, it just doesn't feel real. Maybe somebody was playing a prank on him, or he just faked Hello? the video. And it moved! That's the thing, that's what creeped me out. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, okay, that scream is seemingly very genuine. That scream just kind of, uh, yeah, terrified me too. Okay. Ah! Oh my god! What the f is that? Ah! <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Holy. Face to face with a creepy and pale figure, then he does what anyone would do and he runs for okay, his- Okay, now it seems legit, bro. Like, I, uh, it seems like, yeah, there was a person. Uh, before it felt like a cardboard. Now it feels like it's a person. Thoughts, guys, you think it's a fake? But his scream, man, that's the, the scariest scream ever. I mean, that scream is genuine. Like, I can, like, if I see something, I can see myself screaming that way. That, that's how realistic uh, it feels. The, the scream seems genuine, bro life as fast as he can i can't yeah. figure out however if this video is real or not yeah all i know is that this creepy figure if it's a ghost a cryptid a person this is something i would not like to see in an abandoned church in the middle of the night yeah. all alone yeah, yeah yeah and i guess that by the fear in his voice you could say that this is the real deal not only yeah. that, the fact that this thing shows up without making any sound at all, taking into consideration that he's inside of an abandoned building that makes echoes all over. Anything moving would make a sound, and this thing just simply shows up there. So, I'm not sure. Could this guys, guys, don't look behind you. Don't do that. Be the ghost of a priest or a priestess or something like that? Or is it maybe something else? What's your take? I don't know, man. At first, I thought it was like a painting. The past I got couple scared. of years, TikTok has been. I got scared. Then I was like, okay, nah, it's just fake. And then it's like he started screaming. And then I look again. Then I'm like, damn, it probably real. Growing more and more as a platform, and you're able to find the most random videos on it. By searching for mysterious and strange videos, I came across a very interesting TikTok account by the name of Crix Eliz. He's been posting completely normal and random videos of his daily life. And all of a sudden, things took a turn and it became dark and mysterious. Dark this and happened mysterious? when Crick's oh, Liz and his girlfriend decided to buy a very old and abandoned house to refurbish it. And they decided to do something that has been trending on TikTok and record the refurbishing process. Yeah, you can see snap. in his TikTok that things were going oh, just shit. fine and he was maintaining the normal videos on his TikTok account when all of a sudden something happened. Ow. This is what he caught on camera. This is what he caught on camera. We love to hear it, but I found a door and I don't have any idea where it leads to. So you don't know, bro. I'm not sure if it's just a door or it really leads to another room. Now I can see it better. Man, you don't toy around with stuff like that. And there's something. See what la puta la mierda. I think you speak Spanish, maybe Portuguese. Well, there's something inside, he says. Here we go. Yo, it feels like I'm playing Uncharted 5. I'm, I'm gonna stick my camera. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm trying to find the courage to go in. In his backyard, Crixaliz found a hidden door. He decides to open it and goes in. Then, this is what he finds inside. Oh damn, oh damn, I think some bad happened, some bad. I don't know what, what this is. Don't know what that is either. Man, the subtitles really help. He's gonna look back probably and... Okay, we got books? I don't have the slightest idea. What these effing books are about? Yay! <coughs> He's gonna see a shadow, I'm assuming. What the What the fleep? Bruh, 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 bruh. Say you swear to God, man. Okay. This looks like a guitar. The anticipation is killing me right now. Very dirty. 
The hidden room is more intriguing than it seems. Krixa Liz is completely baffled by all the items that he finds inside. There are these strange books, boxes, guitars, and many more. Mm. This is when he finds another door, a secret door within the hidden room. This is what happens. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, I think there's another side. Double. Bruh! He said bruh! 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 bruh. It's, moving. it's moving. Oh, oh, eh! It's gonna open. I don't know, bruh, if I should open. If you don't know, then you don't know. I'm scared. Uh, if you don't know, then you know you should not, I should say. Bruh, don't open. There's something. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Yo, there's... Something will be standing, I'm assuming. Something will be standing, bro. Something will be standing in front. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. No way. La wow. concha. Mi casa. My what house? the fuck? Holy no hell. Creer. Hay otra. Hay una colección. Oh. What the fuck? Later that same day, Crixalis finds himself completely immersed in a mystery. He knows that he's not gonna. Yo, that is truly um in a creepy in a way, right? Because like, if you uh, you're living in a house, you don't even know that there's like an extra tunnel, like an extra way to enter your house. And anybody that knows would know how to enter in your house. Uh, and that is creepy, though. Be able to sleep this night. So what he does is he blocks one of the entrances from the hidden room. Yeah, just to feel safer. The right man. Yeah. And that same night. He hears a strange sound coming from within the room. The next day, Crix Liz checks the room and many of the items seem like they were thrown on the floor. Mm. And amongst these items, he finds a couple of religious books. He takes a look at them and he starts getting this strange feeling that there is something wrong about this house. Yeah, no, I'm no already si getting it. So, remember when he first picked up the book? I was like... Yeah, feeling a little odd. No, it's... The yeah. next day, Crixalis continues on posting normal videos on his TikTok account. And in this particular video, he explains that he's going to lock and close the door that has access to his house. He's afraid that anyone who invades his backyard could actually go inside his house without him knowing. Mm. And that actually makes sense. The yep. other day, his girlfriend comes by and they decide to check out the hidden room with more details. And this is what happens. Okay, this time it will really happen or or not? Because last time I was expecting, bueno, but I didn't. Le estuche que mucha gente preguntaba. Yeah, yeah, very good. Come on, let's go inside. But no. You got a Betty? Bueno, para porque está acá la. Se entiende. Okay, snagging up a Betty inside. I'm taking this TV. Que no se vayan las ratas para mi casa. Okay, get home. Don't do it. Take it, take it, take it all. Yeah, they're having a ball right now. It really stinks. I don't know. I really don't know. Here, take that. Something moved. It, no, it's just my shadow. Hey, look. No, I'm leaving. Okay, she's scared. Curious, like any human being, Crixalis and his girlfriend start moving things around, and they decide to take some of the things and make it their own. This is when they capture something chilling on camera. On camera? Oh snap, it's gonna happen boys. Look what I found. No audio, bad. It's gonna be behind I don't know what this is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, what happened? What happened? Oh, that clock, I think. There is more books here. Oh, Acabamos de vivir una situación bastante complicada. Estoy situación, guys, Yo estoy seguro que fue el viento. Amiga, fue con el viento. Pero no es la primera vez. Ya me pasó que dejo las ventanas abiertas y mucho viento afuera. Posta, posta. Okay, so uh, he's saying it's the wind, but she's like, no, it's not the wind. Bomba, cara. Se cierran las cosas. Bueno, acá 
acá estamos un poco más tranquilos. Ok, well, let's save a little bit. Uh, I'm not going into that room today anymore. We'll continue another day. Are you okay? Sí. Bueno. Things were getting stranger, and it's as if there was an energy that Grixalis unleashed from within this room the moment that he opened it. But it doesn't stop there. Later that same week, Grixalis found out through a cousin of his that the deed Somebody? of the house shows a terrain four times bigger than the one that he was living on. Then he starts investigating. What the heck is going on here? Yeah. Holy! They got an entire planet underneath his house or around or wherever that is? My backyard ends over there, from what I understand. Don't know if you can see this. There's another house. That is in that in my opinion. You know, this is why this is why our ancestors always say, I don't know if our ancestors really say it or not, but but I heard this saying somewhere, correct me if I'm wrong, but like you need to verify everything about you need to talk with the past owners, okay? The past past owners, at least two of them. Like the current owners and the past owners, okay. So two. Because the current owners might not tell you stuff, but the past owners they surely will tell you some stuff, okay, if you're freaked out about stuff like that. And it doesn't even have to be about paranormal stuff. It, it could be about some normal stuff, right? Like, they might tell you stuff about the house that you should know, but the current owners will never tell you, and because if they tell you, you might then have to pay less, and the past owners will tell you, so this is how you get to pay less, and you get to know the details, right? You gotta, you gotta talk. The should be the previous owners? The See? Bruh. Oh. Okay, he climbed and oh. get the knowledge, you know, by... Oh, he's gonna see something. And I'm like, what the... It's full of trees and stuff. Okay, so there's another construction. Oh, hey, hey, light, light, light. Every day, Grixalis found more and more information about the house. It's as if there was something really sinister going on there in the past. Grixalis then called the person who sold him the house and found mm -hmm. out that the previous owner was a 45-year-old man that had actually stolen the house and taken over it. Oh, damn. So no one knew exactly what happened in there. This is when one of... Okay, I'm assuming somebody died. Somebody passed away or something. These subscribers decided to ask him to go inside the hidden room once more to take a look at the boxes that he hadn't opened. And so he did. And this maybe is what he found. Maybe there's some, like, black magic stuff, dark magic stuff in there. Looks like a horn. There's probably something creepy in there. I'm okay, I don't know. I don't know much, but every time I see lemons, I'm like, damn, like, yeah, just run, 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 run. You know what I mean? And stuff like that. So maybe this is to do with that too. Thoughts, guys? People with knowledge? Yeah, bro, like, that's bad. What's that? Oh, well, it's a camera? This was inside the box. Keys? Could be the keys to the other house? Uh, there's lots of keys? I don't, I don't know what these items are. A mask? Bruh? That same week, Crixalis calls a few friends and he throws a party in his house. It's a normal party, he posts pictures on Instagram, TikTok, and things like that. The next day, one of his friends notices something strange about his Instagram stories. Mm. This is what he caught on camera. Oh damn, probably entities behind him or something behind By him. By accident, they capture what appears to be a humanoid-shaped figure watching the boy from behind the window. What's eerie about this clip is that we can... It's very hard to say, but completely make out what appears to be a person, moved. maybe a ghost or even something else. But I can see it, and if you observe closely, it's moving behind the yeah. window, which means that this is not a reflection. What's even yeah, up and up until here, it's like very hard to see. But once his camera, selfie camera, stops, the thing moves uh, and goes out of frame, uh, goes out of uh, cam window, right? That's when it's like, yeah, there was somebody. Creepier is the fact that this was most likely captured by accident. Whatever it is that's going on with this house that Crixalis bought, 
I believe it's not good.、Mm. And I think that his girlfriend felt it. Yeah. Pixel yeah, is, yeah. however, was very entertained with the fact that he was posting things on TikTok and they were going viral. <laughs> What is your take? Yeah, usual suspects. Man, man, this one, Mandy, right? Guys, guys, hundreds of UFOs were found in this clip. Click on this video on the screen or click the video on the left. Check these videos out, guys. They don't want you seeing that. And I will see you right there.